Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Saturday, the sixth day of July 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying, Amen, I believe as I receive. Today, I want to pray for you that the Lord will strengthen and empower you. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are so many people hearing the sound of my voice this morning who needs the strength of the Almighty God. In every area of life where you have been looking up to God for divine strength and enablement, I decree today, receive divine strengthening and enablement in the name of Jesus Christ. When God gives a man strength, no man or no power can bring him down. So for everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning, wherever you are on the face of the earth, I am praying, receive divine strength, receive divine ability and grace in Jesus' name. It is the strength of the Lord that can make you to do what ordinarily you do not have power to do. So I am praying. David said to King Saul, by the help of God on my side, I will, be, I will be able to kill this Goliath. David was not relying on his own effort or manpower because he knew there was nothing he could do without the help of God. That, that is what I'm talking about. I am praying for you today that financially the Lord will strengthen you. Spiritually, God will strengthen you. Maritally, academically, you know, in every area and aspect of life, the Almighty Father, we grant you divine strength and empowerment in Jesus' name. The strengthening and the empowerment of God is quite different from government empowerment. The empowerment of God is permanent and there is no, there is no bickering about it. So I am praying for you in the name of the Lord once again. Receive divine empowerment, receive divine ability in Jesus' name. All of us, today is Saturday, today is weekend. I am praying in the name that is above every other name. God will empower you. God will lead you in all areas today. Your going out shall be blessed. Your coming in shall be blessed. No weapon of the enemy shall prosper against you and your family today. Everyone that will be traveling, I pray, journey mercies to and fro. The Lord will strengthen and empower you. There shall be no evil occurrence. There shall be no any mishap in Jesus' name. Oh, somebody is asking for divine assistance. There's somewhere you there's somewhere where you are expecting help or an assistance to come from. But suddenly it just comes to you like a shock. It just comes to you in a very shocking way that what you have been expecting or looking up to from that angle is not going to come. I am praying. Man can close door, but God has several doors to open. So I am praying as you put your trust in the Lord, God will make another way for you now in Jesus' name. Every one of us, God's name shall be glorified. I pull you out of satanic prison and dungeon today in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Today being Saturday in our Bible reading, we are reading Jeremiah 27 and 28. The book of Jeremiah chapters 27 and 28. In our daily communion with God today, we are on page 200. Page 200. And our heavenly meal this Saturday, 6th of July, is give attention to the inner man. That is your soul. Give attention to the inner man. There are so many of us today that are only giving attention to the outer man. You are taking care of your body, but your inner man, which is the main domain, is suffering. So read the daily devotional today with the heavenly meal. Give attention to the inner man. And the Lord will bless you. Let me quickly take one or two testimonies and then we come back to hear the word to start from where we stopped yesterday. The first testimony today says, Testimony, testimony. I'm here to return all the glory to God Almighty. On the first day of March 2024, I sent a prayer request to Daddy concerning my wedding and Daddy replied that it will be successful 
and end in praise in Jesus' name. I responded, Amen. To the glory and honor of God's name, the wedding happened on the 30th of March this year, and indeed it was successful, and also it ended in praise to the glory of God. Daddy, thank you so much, and the oil on your head will never run dry. Amen. I wish everyone in our of Destiny platform heaven at last. God bless you. Amen. Happy wedding. Happy married life. God bless you. Another testifier say, good morning, sir. My name is Soso Person from Abuja. I want to return all glory to God for his faithfulness unto me. Two weeks ago, when Daddy and your love blessed Mantus, there's this car I wanted to sell, but people were not really pressing it well. But when I placed the mantle on the car and I prayed, someone came and bought it without delay. I have come to return all glory to God Almighty. Wow, mighty wonder, mighty works of God via man to there. Another testifier is saying this morning, say, family, please join me to celebrate the Jesus. Help me to celebrate this Jesus. Number one, for divine health for my family and I. Number two, my building project that I started over eight years ago is, pro is progressing speedily now. Number three, promotion. I am now a deputy director, favors and a lot back to back. This can only be God. Hallelujah. Let me take one more for today. This last one said, good morning. Is a testimony time over commerce time. Good day, man of God. My name is Soso Person from Imo State, but residing in Lagos and also works in Ekoma, Edo State. During the January fasting and prayer request, which we posted to heaven, I requested for God to calm the storm in my place of work because some unscrupulous elements were sabotaging our efforts by vandalizing things so that our two years contract will not be renewed. Lo and behold, as the contract is expiring by this month end, our client renewed the contract not only for another two years, but for four years. It can only be God. My daddy in the Lord, thanks for allowing God to use you for the benefit of mankind. May the oil on your head continue to increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, Daddy, please let the children of God join me in shouting seven thunders. Hallelujah. I know that my other request is already answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Seven thunders. Hallelujah to the King of glory there. May his name alone be exalted. Now, let's go to hear the word. Uh, two days now, we've been discussing about the subject of the battle you should not start, battle you should not meddle with, battle you should not get yourself involved with, because there are some that have joined themselves to such battles that never live to tell the story. And yesterday, I began to we began to look at you know where not to channel our battle to. I told her, I said, don't fight God, don't fight God. And I said, somebody might be thinking. God is not visible. How can I fight him? And I told her, I said, don't fight anyone who is fighting where God's interest is, is indirectly fighting God. I'm aware of some people who claim to be believers, but they are troublemakers. I am not, I'm not addressing that, but I'm talking about genuine people. We have had Christians, we have some Christians, so, I mean, some brothers and sisters who take advantage you know you are living in a compound and you are becoming a nuisance to everybody there in the name of christianity and when people talk to you when people ad address you you say they are fighting you because you are a christian no you are the one that is becoming a nuisance to the people the bible says let all things be done decently and in order but what i'm saying there are some people that we just want to stand as a you know as a clock on the wheel of progress let me give us some example for instance we have had some individuals who just stood vehemently that they will not allow a church or a place of worship to be cited in their locality because they claim to be somehow powerful i remember a very powerful man in about many years ago who it was a terror. It was a terror. Everybody in the town knew him, and they were so much afraid of him. Then there was this young man who had the call of God, and he came to start his church. He came to start the church of the Lord. One day, this powerful man in court met this young evangelist and said, it was not going to be possible. 
for the young man to cite his church on the same street where he lives. And the young man says, sir, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't come to your house. I didn't encroach on your land. In fact, your house is nowhere near to this place. That you are living on this street does not mean that we cannot have church there. The man threatened and told the young man, I have spoken. Nobody can make, nobody can reverse it. I give you seven days to remove your church here or some or will remove it for you by force. This is my territory. And the young man says, sir, in as much as I seen, you sin on me, I'm not supposed to answer you, but the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If you are the owner of the land, we will know. If God is the owner of the land, we will know. Let the seventh day come. On the day, on that seventh day, people of God, it was the dead, it, that man was dead. He couldn't wake up from his sleep. When they, when they opened the door of his room, he was stone dead. He tried to fight God. He thought he was fighting that young man, but he was fighting the interest of God. As you are hearing me this morning, whether you are a native doctor, I'm not expecting you hearing me to be a native doctor, but I know there are many people hearing the word of God. Maybe you are a native doctor or you are, you are an evildoer somehow, and you are fighting. You are fighting. Yes, I know. I know there are some pastors too who take things for granted. The land, they gave you land to you, 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 when you approach the owners of the land, uh, you know, for the land, you, they didn't sell the land for you. You requested that the land should be given to you on lease, that you are going to use it for some time and release the land. Now you don't want to leave. Now they, I've told some people to call lawyer. If they call lawyer for you and they eject you, they are not fighting God. It is you that is not obeying. You are not following due process. I remember a lawyer friend of mine fought a case like that for an elderly man who had no money to go to court. This pastor was giving the land free of charge. But when it was time to leave, he started threatening fire and brimstone. The matter went to court. Even this lawyer, they did everything to stop him from appearing in court. At the end of the day, this pastor lied in court that he had already bought the property from the old man. People stood up and said, no. At the end of the day, the court awarded the land back to the owner and he left in shame. There are people like that who are misrepresenting God. But what I'm saying in essence is anywhere you know that there is God here genuinely, in as much as it is not infringing on your right, please take care. Don't fight God. Don't fight his interest. Don't fight the people that are worshipping him. Don't fight the people that are worshipping him. I remember a president of a country who threatened Israel not too long ago that by the time they are true with Israel, that there will be no nation called Israel again in the land of the living. Not up to two weeks, he died. Not up to two weeks, he died. So don't fight God. Don't fight the people of God. Don't fight his interest. Stay away. If anybody bring a matter to you, if you discover that it is something that has to do with God's interest, please don't fight it. Maybe they call you and say, let's go and steal in the house of God. We have people today who are stealing. We have ushers. We have people who are stealing from God's, you know, God's house. Stay away from it because the owner of the church will fight. Tomorrow, we'll talk of another area or another battle, another battle you should not fight. Please, stay away. Don't fight God. Don't fight his servant. Don't fight his work. Stay clear and stay away. The Lord bless you. The Lord renew your strength. The Lord give you power and strength more than the one you can get by yourself. Read your Bible today, Jeremiah chapters 27 and 28, and read the daily communion on page 200 with the heavenly meal. Give attention to the inner man. God bless you. Have a lovely Saturday and enjoy your weekend. In Jesus' name, amen.